another summer idea. This one is featuring a seashell on the sand. I've taken inspiration for some seashells from a little painting I did a while ago. And what I've done ahead of time is I've just roughly penciled in the shape of the shell. Behind it, I painted a sandy colour. And while it was still wet, I grated with sandpaper some watercolour pencil on top in a couple of different colours to give you that sort of grainy, sandy feeling. After that, when it was all dry, I rubbed out as much pencil as possible. And now I'm in the situation where I've got the shell to do and I've marked in with a few pencil lines just so I can get an idea of where I'm going. So I'm going to start putting the light. My friends is coming this way. Let me just put a quick, uh, there we go. Of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a darker colour on this side of the ridge. So this is just getting it in roughly as we do and as the light is coming from that direction it's going to be on that side and then gradually there won't be much on the other one on the other side oops too much there Stuck a little bit out and here I'm just going to leave it fairly thin. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put some darker colour. If you look at seashells when you get some that they, they've sort of got bands of colour going across so what I'm going to do that's too dark is I'm going to just put some bands and I'm curving it like that because it's going over the ridges. Just a little fun watercolour sketch. Don't get hung up too much on it, my friends. After all, these are cards which you're sending away. If they turn out like a masterpiece, don't send them. Keep them. And you can add whatever colours you like. If you want to just make the changes. Keeping it very relaxed, so no real hard lines, just soften it out. I'm going to go round the edge, by that I mean the top up here, because I've lost the, the curly bit as it were, the curve. Just put the curve in. Soften it off. See how easy it is just to, you can put your line in and then just soften it off and it starts to look much better. Now this is the shadow over this side, so let us have some darker shadow on this side. And what I can do is just accentuate in some areas. Oh, 
I haven't gone into as much detail as I have on this little painting, naturally, because I don't want to be taking a long time over it. I'm going to put some shadow on the sand. That, of course, has disturbed my watercolour pencil. So for your reference, do the shadow before you do the watercolour and the sandpaper bit. But I can probably get round that. Right, I'm just going back to the shell to do a little bit more tidying up. Let's just put a few little lines down here, because these the ridges, they come down then. And we can take some of them up. These lines don't follow through exactly, but don't worry about it. And once you've got the first layers on, you can then go back as I am now and just sort of do a bit of fine tuning as it were. Just want to make that a little bit stronger. That shadow where it's sitting on the sand. Seem to have lost the plot over here. Let's get a bit of colour on that side of the shell. It's looking a bit wishy-washy. just go a little bit. Some of these shells sort of have mauve colours. Let's just add a little bit of a tinge of some mauve just to add a bit more excitement to it. And of course if you wanted to you could mount it onto a piece of coloured card before you put it onto your greeting card blank. Let's just take a little bit of definition, just a tiny bit. Oops, that's... That's bled in mine. And we'll just soften that off, soften that off. And away you go. I think that will do very nicely as a summer theme greeting card.